Good morning, and, and I apologise for the haggard look, but it's the first Monday uh, back to work after the holidays. And I'm just sitting outside the post office waiting for it to open. It will open in... what is it? Oh God, yeah, I forgot. I need to look at my mobile phone. Do I bring my mobile phone? Oh, of course. <laughs> Of course I did. I'm filming on it. Oh God, I feel a bit stupid now. The post office will only open in three quarters of an hour. And I've got stuff to pick up. I know one of them is the hinge to the rear passenger side door. I have no idea about offside and near side and stuff because this is a left hand drive car and I don't know if it's, the, it's applicable. I digress completely. Uh, I have to pick up the package because I wasn't home. I've got you know, the, the forms here. I wasn't home because I was away in the Algarve. And for those of you who don't know, which I think are very few of you, the Algarve is a region in southern Portugal that's very sunny, it's got nice beaches, and it's completely chock full of Brits, especially in the summer months. And they like it so much because you can go there and get drunk rather cheaply. And to give you an example, where I stayed was far away from the bars, and this is what the uh, re what we call the eco point. It's where you go and, and put out your stuff for recycling. This is what it looks like. It's got all the bottles were strewn all over the place. Plastic was half full, and even the paper was full of the packaging for beers and such. So yeah, they like to drink. It was a bit rowdy, I'll be honest. The place we stayed called Al Bufeira. It was a bit too noisy for my taste. But uh, I had no choice because now everything is so expensive. I had to go look for something cheap and that would allow me to take my dog as well. But it was actually a very nice place where we stayed because it was a hotel. I'm sorry, it used to be a hotel. And now it's got like a second life as these apartments for Airbnb and whatnot. And it was actually really cool. You've got, you've got like the really, an, uh, it had an atmosphere of something that had gone through a really tough phase and was sort of like coming back to life. I liked it personally, especially in this post pandemic world where we're trying to rebuild stuff that was lost. Uh, you could tell that things weren't at full steam. You know, there was the abandoned bar slash breakfast room. Uh, the long dark corridors, the empty re reception area, but it was coming back to life. It was uh, full of people. The pool was great. You know, I had kids playing, and we went there a lot and whatnot. I just had this vibe of uh, you know recuperation, getting back on your feet, and I I enjoyed that. But that city's very very touristy. It's very it's got like a a, a, a budget Las Vegas feel with loads of neon and all that stuff. What we would do for beaches, because the beaches there were absolutely crap, they were rocky and small, but we'd get in the car and travel for about, I don't know, 20 minutes to one of our favourite beaches ever, anywhere. Uh, when we used to go to the Algarve many, many years ago, and it was cheaper and they allowed pets, uh, we'd go next to a really nice beach called the Beach of Tomatoes. Yes, that's its actual name. And you have to go via a dirt road to get there. And this is footage from 12 years ago, because I just couldn't film this time around. I was busy driving and no one else wanted to film. And every time I'd get there, I'd just put a, a villain smirk on my face. Why? Because I was in this car. I pressed the up button on the suspension, you know, the raise suspension button. And I'd like, hee 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 hee. And then we'd glide along that dirt road. And then the only other cars that could keep up, although I was going slow, SUVs and I thought hmm you'd, you'd probably think oh yeah but SUVs do have that advantage but they're severely compromised for you to have that advantage because you've got to have the raised ride height the whole time you've got to have the massive tires and that suspension with the long travel uh, however a car like this does everything and it does it very well so I'd much rather have this and it was just like this is that's just the tip of the iceberg of what this car was like on holiday and that's the point of the video if you haven't seen it, I went on a collection caper to Lisbon, the capital of Portugal, and I did 300 kilometres, which is as near as it makes a difference, 200 miles home. And that was 
a good test on the motorway. It was brilliant. But now on holiday, I was able to test it as a family car and it did not disappoint. It didn't put a foot wrong. First off, there was that dirt road. So my kids were in the back. They didn't even notice that we had sort of like gone uh, onto the beaten track. It should be said. It wasn't off the beaten track. It was a very beaten track. And they were fine with that. They didn't, they weren't jiggling around going, Dad, and this is going to end, nothing like that. They were absolutely fine. And then we had to drive the car around town and all that stuff. And of course, as you'd expect, it took all our luggage, like, the, like you know, swallowed up like a, a, a Jupiter swallowed up the Levy Shoemaker Comet without even a burp. Maybe that's not true. It's a bad analogy. Could be all massive nuclear explosions. It swallowed up the luggage no problem at all everything in here was so quiet and peaceful and comfortable it was brilliant and that's it basically i have no no complaints about the car i should also point out that um for the the actual fuel consumption the trip computer for the entire trip and it was about 1300 kilometers uh gave me an average of about 6.4 i think something like that 6.5 and the real average was 6.1 because i measured it you know filling it up, doing the whole trip, then filling it up to the brim again. And it, so this misreads by a bigger margin than my old car. But I, when, when this car goes off to get things fixed, I'm also going to ask the mechanic to, you know, check the fluids and filters and all that stuff and change it around. Because I'm not sure how the car was treated before. The, the, the previous owner did say that he just, you know, he took the car to some garage. He didn't take it to a specialist. And I take it to a specialist, so maybe there's something that's amiss because this is uh, drinking a lot. I'm not bad. I'm not actually. I should point out. I'm not um, unhappy with the average. Six point one is good because the car was fully laden. Four people, a dog, and all their luggage, and I was doing motorway speeds, 120 kilometers an hour the whole time with air conditioning on. So I would expect the consumption to be slightly higher. Uh, I don't know if maybe, maybe not as high, maybe. But then again, I think if I switch out the filters and give it a good service, then I think the consumption will come down. So there you have it. That was the first real test of my uh, brand new, it's not brand new, it's new to me, Citroen C5 X7 2 litre. And over the coming videos, I've got a lot of content lined up. Well, not a lot of content, just some, just some content lined up uh, of me correcting some things and fixing some other things. So please stay tuned, you know, subscribe, all that stuff if you haven't already. And I thank you very much for watching if you made it this far. And if you didn't make it this far and you watch up and down, I didn't copy Richard Kitchen. He did a video also on his holidays. It was just him sitting on, on some tyres talking for 45 minutes in front of his Citroen C6 show off um, I didn't copy him I swear I swear it's Cubs honor I didn't copy him uh, I already had this planned God why am I oh, doesn't matter even if I did copy him uh, uh, I think copying is that the I'm oh, sorry plagiarism is the uh, best form of complimenting someone i suppose but anyway the big difference is that he's really really good in front of camera his stuff is absolute gold uh, and mine not so much <laughs> fool's gold at best but either way thanks very much for watching if you made it this far i blather way too much jesus christ obviously no one's gonna bother watching this crap <laughs> thank you anyway and i bid you all farewell i've got to go to work i've got to go to the post office first though bye bye